President. Senator from Vermont is recognized. Uh, Mr. President, there is a war going on in this country, and I'm not referring uh, to the war in Iraq or the war in Afghanistan. I'm talking about a war being waged by some of the wealthiest and most powerful people in this country against the working families of the United States of America, against the disappearing and shrinking middle class of our country. Uh, the reality is that many of the nation's billionaires are on the war path. They want more, more, more. Their greed has no end. And apparently there is very little concern for our country or for the people of this country if it gets in the way of the accumulation of more and more wealth and more and more power. The reason the globalists are having an agenda 21 temper tantrum is because as far as their plans for world domination go, even they are forced to admit the truth. That is no longer possible. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. And just really brainwash people. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. And just really brainwash people. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. In this period, when really a new world order can be created in the fate of the unity. Not surprisingly, the one side, a peaceful victory of America over Soviet Russia, gave birth to the brief but widely shared illusion that the 21st century would hence be the American century, with the United States acting as the world's benevolent hegemon. Twenty years later, twenty years later, a truly comprehensive American global domination is no longer possible. No longer For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Either you are with us. George Bush doesn't care about black people. And one reason is clear. Dick, 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 that relies primarily on public means for expanding its sphere of influence. It's no longer possible. That is so for several reasons. In recent decades, worldwide social change has experienced unprecedented historical acceleration, particularly because instant mass communications, such as radio, television, and the internet, cumulatively have been stimulating a universal awakening of mass political consciousness. On infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. This is no longer possible. This is no longer possible. Check this out.
is no longer possible. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence and just so brainwash people. Whether sought or unsought, by the military industrial complex and just really brainwash people. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. And just really brainwashing people. Really, a new world order can be created in today's community. It's no longer possible. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. And just really brainwash people. And just don't brainwash people. And just don't brainwash people. It's no longer possible.